While many may associate death with mourning, Dia de los Muertos gives people the opportunity to celebrate those who have passed on, especially with a major event like this one here in Long Beach. I just think it's so beautiful. It's one of the biggest celebrations Longmont will see all year. Dia de los Muertos, um, celebration of life. Dia de los Muertos. The Day of the Dead, a celebration through food, music, art, and more. I think it's one of the most beautiful parts of our culture. Laura Masterson, a proud Mexican-American, brought her family to downtown Longmont. With tradition, the Mastersons showed up with their faces painted like skulls. I just think it's gorgeous. It's a beautiful way to express. I think a lot of people consider it like the Mexican Halloween, and it's so much more than that. You're celebrating your ancestors that have passed, uh, celebrating their life, bringing almost their life back. As the sun set, deeper tradition illuminated in the darkness. Traditional Aztec dancers performed and prayed for those who have passed. Instead of being sad about it, we're enjoying it, we're celebrating it. Messages for the deceased burned and sent to those looking down. For many, this is a part of their culture. For the rest, it was a way to better understand the traditions of their neighbors. They give everyone the ability to learn something uh, yeah. about a different culture and to get really involved with it. Longmont promised this would be one of the biggest celebrations in the entire state, and they did not disappoint. One major takeaway is giving the youth the opportunity to experience this tradition, including even giving some of the students the opportunity to perform. In Longmont, I'm Dylan Thomas, covering Colorado First.